A very good morning, good evening, and uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever place it is, you're tuned on to the Life uh, Signatures uh, Radio. It's a daily podcast on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. I am in the middle of a series, and I'm discussing about the fullness of the glory of an individual human being, which means all of us have the capacity to rise up to the fullness of our existence. Some of us just pass away from this life like a whimper, with a whimper, and nobody knows we existed. And there are people who lived many years ago who were glorious, more glorious than those of us who are living in these years with internet, with social media, with all these trappings of life, with flight and with sliced bread and everything you've got. But there was a guy who lived in the stone age who was more glorious than us why because the fullness of our glory is an individual call it's not a race call it's not a what do they call it it's not a, a generational call it is an individual's call listen let us go deeper we started talking about two six pillars that will make us to come to that level and uh, pillar number one has been covered. Let's t- t- continue talking about pillar number two. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So the first thing, if you and I are going to live to the level of the fullness of our glory, the first pillar is uniqueness. I mean, I I, I feel like going back and start just doing the whole series. I mean, the whole point. But you cannot live to the level of the fullness of your glory if you are an ape. As in if you're aping other people. If you're copying someone else, someone say that, be yourself because every other position has already been occupied, has already been taken. Be yourself. Nobody became to the fullness of their glory by trying to do something else or someone else. Be someone else. Find your difference. Lean into it. And that's why when we go to school, we've, we've got to come to a place where uh, we are not making everybody the same. We need to celebrate people's differentness. It pains me when you see a guy, you just know this one is not a science student. Why do you keep pumping science in their head? When they're in primary school, it's fine because it's foundational. But in high school, I mean, someone can't do mathematics. Why are you, why are you forcing it down their throat? And the same guy, he's a very brilliant artist. You get my point? Anyway, the second thing, is this if you're going to come to the level of the fullness of your glory then you've got to be useful nobody came to that level without being useful okay so under the subject of being useful we've looked at several things uh, ladies and gentlemen who say that you've got to be selfless you (laughs) there is no way you will be useful if all you're doing is for yourself. Your usefulness has got to be felt as an impact by other people. And then we say that we're living yesterday, we said we're living in a world where we're full of liberalism, full of individualism, full of selfishness, and that doesn't add up to any glory to ourselves. And then we also talked about entitlement. 
Entitlement is selfishness at some point in time. Because when you are entitled, it transfers the responsibility of action to somebody else. So someone else has to change so that you can succeed. And when that happens, the glory has been transferred to the person who did stuff, not to you who was waiting to be accorded. See, the same graduates we're talking about yesterday, those ones who are entitled, they can form that mentality that does not look at their glory in offering solutions on the face of the earth. Because if you flip it, instead of being entitled, you start looking at this world from the angle of its demanding of your usefulness and your presence. Now that you have that degree, now that you have that diploma, now that you've graduated, or now that you're alive as a human being and an able-bodied human being, what can you do to change, to impact this society? And that's why at the moment we have very many gifted, very many talented, strong, able-bodied men and women living way outside of their glory because of the outlook of entitlement. They are, they are waiting to be accorded some stuff. So once we come to realize that the fullness of our glory is standing on the pillar of usefulness, we start seeing that we are massive, we have a massive responsibility on the face of the earth. The world is requiring of us, not the other way around. We have a responsibility to work and to deploy our gifts, our talents, our skills, and, and even our education. Whatever level that education is. And that's why we need to move away from this thing of you've got to graduate to earn, or you've got to graduate to, have, to be useful. No. The, we, we need to change education to be in such a way that anything I gain little from school, I am thinking, I am turning it around in my mind. I'm thinking, how do I apply this? How do I apply this? You learn in agriculture about the different types of soil. How do you go home immediately? I mean, you're going to graduate in four years' time, but you've started learning the different types of soil right now. Right now, I go home and I change the kind of crops that we are growing so that they are mirroring the type of soil that it is being grown on. Anyway, we've got to make sure that these things are happening. We realize that we have a responsibility in our families, in the community, in our country. We realize that we have a massive responsibility which, you know, can make us to have causes, can make us to have projects, can make us to have pursuits that are close to our uniqueness, are close to our hearts, are close to the things that matter to us. The thing that matters to you can make you a glorious person when you lean into it. Things that we are passionate about. We learn to start balancing between aching out a living and pursuing to deploy the fullness of our glory. And sometimes, listen, the fullness of our glory pursuit might not be rewarded with money, with things just like we are rewarded with things or with money when we are doing a job so how can we be useful i want to close this by giving us five things how can we be useful how can we be useful the the the, the purpose of the fullness of the glory is at the end of the day so that we can be useful it is to be useful to be effective it is to impact it is to influence positively forget about the influencers you're seeing on tiktok shaking their behind that is not influence that is stupidity if this component of usefulness is not included in the very life of a human being we shall end up having meaningless existence regardless of what we feel we did for ourselves if we will not be thinking about I existed and my existence caused a ripple on the face of the earth and became a blessing to people, if I don't think that way, forget it. I'm not going to be useful. So there are at least five ways that I can have an impact on the face of the earth. The first one is motivation. As a motivation, people can actually see what you're doing and they get motivated to also do. And by the way, this is daily. This is seen daily. 
many of us are motivated by people that do, the people who motivate us they don't even know they have motivated us we drive agenda stemming from what matters to us we rally people to join hands and we make things happen that's another form of motivation we bring people together and say this should be done this can happen until people see people's eyes are open to see oh that guy has a point yes it can actually be done that's motivation that's direct motivation because the other one i talked about was indirect motivation that's when we become useful by bringing people together rallying them for a cause secondly we can be an inspiration we can make an impact or we can become glorious we become useful by being an inspiration this is when the fullness of our glory shines and the people see exactly what we are doing especially those who know our backstory they know where we came from they know that we are mere mortals they know that we get challenged and they also start looking at life from the angle of if he did it i am inspired to also do mine so as an inspiration thirdly we become useful practically by helping this is where we use our resources our time our talent our substance our money our skills we, we we do this to practically meet a need consistently that's why we become useful and then fourthly as a solution to a problem that's where your skills your unique skills come and your unique talents come they are not for sure they are for solving a problem we dedicate our life to solve a systemic problem we use our passion our ability and our networks to do so this this man called john c maxwell he is solving a leadership problem with his unique passion and unique talent he's he's becoming a solution to a problem elon musk jeff bezos bill gates all the big names steve jobs the same thing even the leaders in our vicinity today the the teachers why are our teachers glorious because they're solving problems the doctors that we have and those ones who are actually dedicated the inventors that we have in society so you can solve a problem and you become useful and then fifthly and lastly you can be an inventor it's not necessarily done in moments of trouble it can be done in moments of peace where you you know you prick your consciousness the the consciousness of people who up to now were comfortable in their lives and just bring something novel into the world steve jobs next steve jobs um bill gates and uh, paul allen they invent stuff isaac newton henry ford they invent stuff and there's a man who is claiming to be an inventor in the name of Terence Howard and that one still has the jury out there but this is one of the ways we shine we become useful we become useful in this world in these five ways one as a motivation two as an inspiration three becoming useful in directly practically helping four making a solution to a problem and five being an inventor of stuff So that's point number 2. If we are going to be useful and in other words if we're going to live up to the fullness of our glory then we need to learn to be useful. And when we learn to be useful, guess what happens? We become glorious. And we become glorious by doing those things that I've talked about. Tomorrow we continue with the topic until then. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.